Hi kids! Today we will learn about blood, types of blood cells, and types of blood vessels. Now let's learn how the blood circulates in our body. The heart is the organ that pumps blood for circulation in the body. Let's first understand our heart to understand the flow of blood in our body. The heart is the main organ of the circulatory system. It is a muscular organ that pumps blood to all parts of our body. Its size is about the size of a person's fist. It is located in the center of your chest and slightly to the left. The main job of the heart is to pump the blood of the whole body and keep it moving throughout the body. In humans, other mammals and birds, the heart is divided into parts, left and right. Tootway has thousands of animated videos on math, English, and science to clear the core basics of these subjects. Left and right part is further divided into two chambers, so heart has four chambers in all. The top two chambers are called atria, and the bottom two chambers are called ventricles. The atria are divided by the interatrial septum and the ventricles are divided by the ventricular septum. The job of the atria is to collect the blood and the job of the ventricles is to eject blood from the heart. Now let's learn about the valves of the heart. The valve between the right atrium and right ventricle is called tricuspid valve or right AV valve. That is, it is between the right atrium and the right ventricle. The valve between the left atrium and left ventricle is called the mitral valve or left AV valve and two valves are there on the arteries which are leaving the heart, aortic valve and pulmonary valve. Now we know about the four chambers of the heart and the four main valves of the heart. Now let's see how the blood flows through the heart. The right side of the heart deals with the deoxygenated blood and the left side of the heart deals with oxygenated blood. Deoxygenated blood enters the heart via the super vena cava, inferior vena cava, and also coronary sinus to the right atrium. And from this right atrium, blood is pushed to the right ventricle through the tricuspid valve. Blood is then forced out of the right ventricle and passed to the pulmonary artery from where the blood flows to the left and the right lung where the blood is again oxygenated and this oxygenated blood comes back to the left atrium via the pulmonary vein. From the left atrium Blood enters the left ventricle via the mitral valve. And from here, that is the left ventricle. The oxygenated blood is pushed back to our body. That is, each part of the body via the aorta. Blood circulation in our body can be seen in two loops. 
pulmonary circulation loop, and systemic circulation loop. Pulmonary circulation. In this circulation, the blood is moved between the heart and the lungs. The oxygenated blood is moved to the lungs for adding oxygen to it. And oxygenated blood from the lungs is moved to the heart. Systemic circulation. In this circulation, the blood is moved between the heart and the rest of the body. That is, all the parts of the body other than lungs. Oxygenated blood from the heart is sent to each and every cell of the body. And deoxygenated blood is taken back from each cell and sent back to the heart. The respiratory and the circulatory systems both work together to enable the exchange of gases in our body. Next, we will learn respiratory system to learn how actually the deoxygenated blood changes to oxygenated blood in the lungs. So kids, today we learned about our heart, its chambers, the valves present in the heart, and also the circulation of blood in our body. Now go ahead and take a quiz to learn more.